a function of two variables where each of the variables is a function of two variables. Okay, again, just draw the diagram. So F depends on two things, X and Y. And Y depends on, sorry, X depends on two things, R and S. Y depends on two things, R and S. So all you've got to do, say, to find DW, DR, Find all the paths down to an R that lead to an R. When you go from letter to letter, form a derivative. That's all it is. Let's have a look at, at a, um, how you can use um, this particular version. Again, this is a really good example too. Okay, this the the this is like you know maybe. Um, Class test one type worthy. So let F have continuous partial derivatives. In other words, F's differentiable. Show that a function with this form satisfies the following PDE. So let's give it a label because I'll refer back to it a bit later. All right, so... Let's look at our dependence. Uh, I guess I'll let that be x and let that be y. Uh, u minus v, v minus u. Okay, so under these um, sort of labels, it's a function of two variables. A little diagram's there. Let's calculate the um, partial derivatives by using the chain rule. All right, so dz du, that's, so we want to calculate that derivative and that derivative. dz du, let's find all the paths to a u. It's going to be df dx, dx du plus the other path, df dy times dy du. Oh, sorry, they should be partial, shouldn't they? Sorry. Okay. Now, we don't know what f is, so we can't calculate these two derivatives, but we can calculate these two derivatives. So, so dx du is going to be 1, so, um, just to save space, I'm just going to write this as f dash. Oh, hang on, no, I can't do that. I'll write it as f sub x. So, dx to use 1 from up there. dy du is minus 1. Okay, what about dz dv? Well, let's check all the paths to a v. df dx times dx dv plus df dy times dy dv. So again, I'm just going to make I'm just going to use subscripts to save a bit of time. Um. Okay, so I can calculate that and that from here and here. So dx dv is going to be minus 1, and dy dv is going to be positive 1. So the left-hand side of our start, I know it's a bit messy, the left-hand side of our start PDE is just these two derivatives added together. So if you add that to that, they're going to cancel each other out. So, our general F must satisfy star. That's the 
That's our conclusion. That's a good class test worthy question.